up, it's Valencia Cardoso from Socially Conscious Arabia, and I'm here with Nadia from Al Hakawati. Hi, Nadia, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? So thank you for coming out. Thanks for having me. And let's get right into it. Um, what exactly is Al Hakawati? So Al Hakawati means the storyteller in Arabic, and our site tells the story of Arab heritage and culture from every possible angle. Uh, we cover sections on stories and tales, on religion, on architecture and art, poets and poetry, the environment, uh, constitutions, you name it, it's probably on the site. And uh, our focus is to provide high quality digital Arabic content that's both educational and informative, but also enjoyable uh, and easily accessible to the average reader. So I noticed that the website was started by your mom and that now yourself and your sister are involved in it. So let's go back to the start. And uh, why did you guys start al -Hakawati? So the idea for al Hakawati came from my mom. Uh, she's Lebanese from Beirut, and her parents are Palestinian and Iraqi. So we really feel connection to the whole region. Um, my mom started collecting stories in 1982 about the region uh, with the idea of putting them on a mainframe computer that our family owned. Uh, but due to circumstances of the war, her research was sort of limited to collecting and editing the stories, and that was it. And then in the 90s, she identified the 10 sections, which we now have on the website, and started to collect information about all 22 Arab countries. Um, and the real impetus for the website came in after 9-11. Uh, we really felt like there was a need to, to provide information about this region and the culture and the heritage, both to Arabs as well as other readers. Cool. So once you started the website, um, what sort of feedback did you receive and um, how has it grown? So early on in 2004 when we first launched the site we were invited to interview with Radio Orient in Paris and uh, two years later the Daily Star English newspaper in Lebanon wrote a story about us so we felt encouraged from this attention and we felt like other people valued what we were doing it made sense to them of course, content over time has grown, and we're always adding content. And we track statistics about viewers, which has grown over time. Right now, the average number of viewers per day is 65 to 70,000 per day, which is, I think, about 5,600 uh, individual visitors. That's quite a lot of people coming to your site. Yeah. Um, and... Um Moving forward, how are you hoping to evolve the website? So at this point, one project which uh, we really uh, value is uh, partnerships that we have with schools. So for example, we have a partnership with the International College in Beirut, and teachers use the site in their classroom as a source to supplement their curriculum and also um, add new resources. And then students write essays. We have 60 essays submitted by students, stories that they've written, which are really amazing. Um, so it provides them with an opportunity to publish their work and then for others to read about their work. So part of the, the uh, goal of the site is for not only outsiders to learn about Arabs, but Arabs to learn about each other, someone in Morocco to read about Lebanon and Iraq to read about Egypt. And I noticed that the, um, you focus very heavily on strong Arabic content. Is mm -hmm. that important to you and why? Yeah, it's really important to us. Um, only 1% of content online is in Arabic. And of that 1%, an even smaller amount is, is high quality, modern standard Arabic. So uh, we believe it's very important for content to be in Arabic, for the content not to be translated from English but to really have, if, if somebody's reading about their own heritage and stories in their language, it, it has the spice of life, it really, um, it really communicates much better. And it's very important for, for students, for anybody, to be able to read about their, their own culture and their own language, history, stories, not only you know, their constitution, because um, that's, that's really hard to come by. And, and you... Um, I think that there's, we definitely see a need for it. You hear people talking about it, but you see very few projects which actually, which actually uh, create Arab content. Excellent. And so how can the people out there connect with you guys? Uh, well, we'd like to continue to develop partnerships with schools. 
and we, we want this content to be used to develop school curricula, so that's one way. We also would love to have more contributions of stories from, from students, and we have some user contributions in other sections. For example, we heard from tribal leaders in Iraq who, who we had published a section about this, and they wrote to us saying that what we had written was all wrong, so we said, great, you know, why don't you tell us about your tribe? And so uh, they, they wrote quite a long article which we published on the site, and we'd like to see more of that for local knowledge, whether it's about the environment or politics or, or art. To, to be contributed to the site. Excellent. They can email you at? They can email us. They can email us stories at stories at lal-hakawati.net.